Hello. I'm going to give Star Citizen a go. The last time I tried it was about a year ago. And I have just had to download 25 gigabytes. Which took a few hours, so I went off and did something else. And now I'm back. And now I'm loading. I did sign up for this way back in September 2013. And since then I have upgraded my graphics card from a GTX 580, which did have a habit of overheating, to a GTX 970, which seems to be able to handle anything that I throw at it. This was one of the largest downloads that I have ever had to download. No wonder it's taking so long to load. Uh, maybe it's time for me to upgrade my very old hard drives to uh, solid state ones, maybe. I think my uh, hard drive heads are going like mad. Oh, we're in. Holy shiitake mushrooms. It's full of fishes. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Holy crap. That's just freaky. The hell is going on here? Okay. I am uh, officially completely freaked out. They have escaped the aquarium and are swimming around my hangar. Uh, that's just a bit weird. Okay, let's have an explore around. Forget the fishes for a bit. Let's, uh, oh, what's happened here? Oh, I'm going up. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I was hoping for an inventory screen or something. I didn't want to go up in the lift. There's fishes flying around everywhere. Flying fish. Let's have a look around here. Now I'm up here. Can I do anything here? Mm. No. Alright, I just uh, loaded up MSI Afterburner because I want to check my graphic card's temperature. I don't want it overheating, but it's it's hanging around 60, which is rather good, and everything is at full settings, which is rather lovely. Let's continue exploring around. There's my lovely ship. I wonder where this leads to. What is it with space games and fish? I had problems with aquatic stuff in Elite Dangerous, which proved fatal. Can I get down here? No. Ah, I'm going to have to go all the way back. Can I jump? Nope. <sighs> okay. I suppose I could do with the exercise. I haven't been in here for about a year. Coffee and donuts ain't good. Oh, here we go. Is my hangar filled with water? I hope I've got my helmet on. I'd be drowning otherwise. What's over here? This is an important looking cabinet thing. What's that do? Looks like uh, so the ships, they're sort of on pedestals. Oh, that's where the fish were. Uh, nothing happening there. Nope. Hmm. Can 
I interact with that? Nope. Okay, let's head over here again. And I think I can interact with this. Yes. Let's have a go. Oh. Whee. Whoa. Looks like a strange vehicle. Like a big wheel I got into. But no, it's Arena Commander. And, uh. Not quite yet, I don't think. Let's uh, continue the exploring. Oh, whoa! That was a bit uh, quick. I think I got a bit too close to that. Can I exit? Yes, I can. Let's try again. There we go. From a bit further away. That fish knock into stuff. It's a metal fish. Anyway, I suppose this is uh, where you can add stuff to your ship or we'll take away as you see fit. And at the moment, actually, it reminds me of the last time I tried it about a year ago. Uh, things haven't changed that much. Things have been uh, rearranged. Let's take a look at the ship. Can I get in? Yes, I can. Let's have a look around my shiny, clean ship. Oh, it's very plush in here. I can smell the leather. Oh, there we go. Oh yes. I'm ready for the universe. Can I take off? No I can't. That's yet to come. Let's have a look around. Oh, there's my joystick work in there. Enough of that. Oh, I'm uh, I'm quite hairless. A proper egghead. Wow. Or well, can I see myself sat in the cockpit? I believe I can. If I can remember what key I pressed. Actually, to be honest, there isn't as many uh, keys as <laughs> Elite Dangerous. Oh, there we go. Oh. I look very serious. <laughs> isn't that? That's kind of cool. And the fish are a bit freaky, though. Oh, there's my ship. I think it's about time I jumped into Arena Commander and fired some weapons. So, let's jump cut to that. Into the pod I go. And let's see what we have here in Arena Commander. What shall I go for? I'll think we'll stick with that. I think we'll just have a fly around. Don't want to be shot at. Let's go for that one. What uh, places can we go to? Let's try Broken Moon. And off we go. That actually took about 50 seconds to load up. Just under a minute. But with the wonders of editing. There you go. Right then, we're in. And we're off. Woohoo! Oh, looks very nice. Can I 
nice fluid movement with my joystick. I'm using a Thruster Master, by the way. I'm getting wonderful sound effects here through my rather good headphones. Things have certainly moved on since asteroids. Wow. Uh, this is only arena mode, but if uh, the rest of the game, when it gets finally released, looks like this, then oh wow. That'll be, uh, it'll be quite something. It'd be amazing. There's a bit of vertigo there. No, not vertigo. Uh, G-force. G-force is vertigo. I suppose I've got that as well. <laughs> that reminds me of that film. Uh, gravity. This is rather beautiful. Okay, let's uh, jump cut to firing weapons with some enemies. Destroyed. Hostile destroyed. Hostile destroyed. Hostile destroyed. Hostile destroyed. Hostile destroyed. What you saw there was uh, some guy called COC doing his damnedest to uh, eliminate the Vandal uh, because uh, I had just flown into a wall. So uh, there's a rather nifty uh, cinematic mode and that kicked in so I thought I'd leave that in. So here we go, let's try and uh, take out a Vandal myself. I'm fighting the controls very difficult. It's slightly different than uh, Elite Dangerous. Uh, that's due to me. I need to configure them. It's not meant to be easy, I know. But COC seems to have been playing it uh, far more often than me. Uh oh. There they are, the bad guys. There's the good guy. Ooh. Blood's rushing to my head. The G forces. Go for that one. Oh, that one. Ooh. My kill. Hostile destroyed. No, <laughs> oh, he's far better than me. Was a bit close. Hmm. 
<laughs> Certainly get a Star Wars feeling with this. You can imagine uh, strafing the Death Star. Stay on target. Oh, I damaged him. I haven't taken one out yet. Yes! I've got one! Ooh. Yes! Okay, let's try something else. I think you can leave your ship if you find a landing pad. So, jump cut to time. Oh, oh dear! That's uh, <laughs> it for that landing pad. It's, uh, where someone just uh, exploded. Don't know why. Awkward takeoff, maybe. Oh, this is a weird jiggling body, and he's gone. Okay, let's go for a smooth landing. Oh no, that wasn't smooth. <laughs> I've never done this before. Oh, okay. W A S D. Can I move? No, I think my head is uh, stuck in the cockpit window. No, can I? Yes. Oh, oh, there we are. I'm out. Oh, I've never done that before. That's so good. Look at that. Isn't that great? Wow, you certainly get a sense of freedom being able to leave your cockpit. And space. So lonely. The vastness of it all. Can I uh, step off? Oh, I'm sliding. And I. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm skydiving in space. Oh, isn't that amazing? Oh, yes. Isn't that so serene? It's quite zen. Floating in space. I think I have a uh, rudimentary jetpack of some kind. It's not very powerful. Yep, I'm holding down the W button. He's reaching out for the uh, landing pad. Let's hope I don't get hit by any space debris. Wow. Let's see if I can get back. It's quite awesome. Look at the textures on the planet. It's almost like being in a movie. I just wish there was more to do. Well, with the uh, budget they have, I'm sure there will be in the near future. But you are going to need one heck of a big computer. Let's see if I can uh, land here. I'm going a bit fast. I'm going to hit the ship. Oh my. Oh, ow. Oof. <laughs> well, that didn't end well. No, that wasn't good. <laughs> I think I went down there a bit too fast. Time for one so last jump cut and a very fiery death. Let's try another smooth landing. Smoother than before, I hope. Oh, there we go. That's quite good. Oh, oh pff. maybe not. Oh, ow! That's even worse than before. Okay, let's uh, step out of the ship. 
There we go, that's the way to do it. There we are. Oh yes. Let's take a look at the ship. In all of its fantastic glory. Oh, in all of its uh, 3D goodness. Not much different from a modern day fighter, really. Except that it can fly in space. What's that strange thing down the bottom there? A sort of auxiliary thrusters or something? Can I jump up onto the top of the ship? No, I can't. No. No. There's no zero G here. There's some kind of a gravity field. But if I launch myself off into space like this, whee! <laughs> I love doing that. Isn't that awesome? Well, imagine having your VR goggles on. Oh, you, see, you would need to be uh, sat in a. Uh, Perpetually going down roller coaster though to feel that weightlessness. That'd be amazing. Okay. Let's end this video by flying into this and seeing what happens. I might fly right through it. But no. Thank you for watching.